Tim Draper has come out and made some outlandish statements in regards to Bitcoin today. We're gonna to look at everything he said and, and we're kind of dissecting and whatnot. And there's only one thing, out of all the outlandish things he said about Bitcoin, there's only one thing I have an issue with, okay? Only one thing he said that I'm like, why would you say that? Only one thing, okay? But let's look at everything he said here, okay? Not only does venture capitalist Tim Draper think Bitcoin is here to stay, he says that it could be bigger than the internet. Now, that's a huge statement. Is that the one I have an issue with? I actually don't have an issue with that. We can debate that. I don't, I don't feel like that's true, but th I don't have an issue with that. If he wants to stick up for you know Bitcoin and say it's gonna be bigger than the internet, that's his decision, okay? When asked during a debate how the digital currency compared to his early investments in Tesla, Hotmail, and Skype, Draper said Bitcoin will be bigger than all those combined. Bigger than all those combined. Tesla, Hotmail, Skype, bigger than all those, okay? That is a huge statement, guys. That is a massive, massive statement. Do I have an issue with that? No, we could debate it, okay? I don't feel like that's necessarily true, but I don't have an issue with him saying that. Like, stick up for your thing, okay? He says, this is bigger than the internet. It's bigger than the Iron Age, the Renaissance. It's bigger than the Industrial Revolution, Draper said at an Intelligence Squared US debate presented in partnership with the Manhattan Institute Adam Smith Society on Saturday. This affects the entire world and it's going to be affected in a faster or more prevalent way than you ever imagined, he said, okay? Holy smokes, Draper, founder of leading venture capital uh, firms, Draper Associates and DFJ, reiterated his bullish call for Bitcoin to hit $250,000, okay? One Bitcoin, $250,000 for reference, Bitcoin right now, I think is around $8,700 or so. Within four years, and elaborate on use cases. So he's not only saying Bitcoin is gonna to go to $250,000, which is a huge statement in itself. He's saying it's gonna happen within four years, guys. By 2022, he's saying, okay? In five years, uh, you're going to try and buy a, a cup of coffee with fiat currency and they're going to laugh at you. That barista at Starbucks is going to be like, <laughs> you're buying coffee with fiat currency, you freaking idiot. Get out of here, man. I'm not giving you a caramel latte. <laughs> they're going to laugh at you because you're not using crypto. Oh my goodness. I believe that there will be a point at which you will no longer really want to use any fiat currency. That's a huge statement, okay? That's a huge statement. I don't even have an issue with that statement he made, okay? Once again, I don't believe that's gonna be true. We can debate that out. My parents don't even use debit cards. They still use cash for almost everything. Look at how much cash is still used. Debit cards and credit cards have been around for a long, long time. Look at how many people still use cash, okay? So we can debate that, but that's still not the thing I have an issue with, okay? Draper uh, bought nearly 30,000 Bitcoins in 2014, US Marshal Service auction, and told CNBC in December that he was still holding all those coins. If that is the case, Draper's holdings are worth around $268 million as of Monday's pricing, okay? And lastly here, uh, while there are more than 1,500 cryptocurrencies in existence according to uh, coinmarketcap.com, Draper said Bitcoin has an enormous lead and will likely win the long-term crypto battle because of its market share. So, very interesting stuff. Now, first off here, Bitcoin right now has a market cap of somewhere around $150 billion, okay? It has a price of around $8,700. So, you know, that's what about, uh, Bitcoin's price on a dollar basis would need to go up about 28 times more valuable than it is now, meaning the market cap would need to go up also 28 times, meaning the market cap would need to go to over $4 trillion within the next four years for his bullish thesis to play out in Bitcoin's at 250,000. So, he said, a ton of things in there, okay? You know, and we could debate all, you know, so much of it. We could debate this and that, and that'd be a really fun debate. But the issue I have with what he said was the $250,000, Bitcoin's gonna go to $250,000 within four years, okay? Whenever someone goes out there and just, you know, says a, a particular price of an asset is gonna go to this price, and, and, you know, it's an outlandish price like that, 
it almost makes them like lose some credibility. Like 250, like you realize how many investors need to pile insane amounts of money into this, this asset, right? Over the next, you know, four years. That's ridiculous, okay? You will never ever hear a CEO of a company, right? You know, say, oh, our, our stock's gonna go to such and such price within four years. You'll never hear, you know, Elon Musk say, oh, Tesla stock's gonna go to, you know, $4,000 a share over the next seven years. You never hear Jeff Bezos say, oh, our stock's at $1,000 right now, but it's actually going to go to 10,000 within four years. You'll never, ever hear that. But yet in the Bitcoin space, you know, you got all these people, you know, some of these bigger investors that make these outlandish calls on Bitcoin pricing. And a lot of it has started, honestly, within the last six to nine months, especially when Bitcoin was kind of, you know, just going crazy, it was all over the news, mainstream media attention and whatnot. Then all of a sudden, these big guys that have been invested in it start making, and a lot of smaller guys too, start making these outlandish price calls, okay, that are just like, what is going to go that price you know just like insane prices right that's not like like that's like you can you can debate so much stuff but to to say the price is going to go to a certain price by a certain date it, 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 and, and that 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 price is 28 times higher than what it is now and it's a four-year span it's like dude you're, you're losing credibility like you could debate all this stuff and we could debate it okay you, you know he's saying bitcoin's going to be bigger than the entire internet think about all everything that's in the internet he's saying bitcoin's bigger than that that's that's like ridiculous but we can debate that okay i don't have a problem with that but to say an asset's going to go to a certain price within a certain date and that price is ridiculously higher and it doesn't even matter what price it's at you know if he said it was going two times higher it'd still be like uh, that's pretty ignorant to say Never mind 28 times higher. It's just not the way it should be, okay? You 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 don't and, and here's my thing. You've got no like CEO leading Bitcoin, right? You've got no executive team leading Bitcoin. Like Bitcoin's just its own thing over there. No one's like leading it, okay? So these big investors, they're kind of like the face of Bitcoin when you kind of look at things, right? Some of these big investors of Bitcoin, you know, the Winklevoss twins, you know, Tim Draper, some of these guys that have hundreds of millions, uh, you, know, you know, of course, potentially, we don't know for sure, but potentially invested in Bitcoin, right? These guys are like the face of Bitcoin. So they need to act like the face of Bitcoin, okay? The, the, if you are the face of Bitcoin, you don't come out and say, oh, our, our asset's going to $250,000 within the next four years, where our asset's gonna increase 28 times, okay? It's one thing to go from you know nothing to a $150 billion market cap. It's another thing to go from $150 billion to four something trillion dollars. You don't make that type of prediction, okay? You don't you don't put that out there when you're the face of it, okay? These guys are the face of it. Whether they want to be or not, these guys are the face of Bitcoin, these big investors, okay? So everything out of their mouth, it's either gonna be, are they trying to have an intelligent debate or are they trying to just hype, 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 hype and get people to invest in it, push the price up, they can sell out? Because once again, we don't know if they're selling. There's no like statements. We can't see if they actually sold or, or bought or how much they own or anything like that. Like if Bitcoin goes back to 20,000, is this guy gonna sell out? We literally don't know. We, we, we have no clue, okay? We can't see it. It's like, you know, if a, if a, if a company, right, and a CEO sells stock in a company, right? If a, a CEO starts selling stock, we can see that. There's SEC documents that he has to file, okay? Or he can literally go to jail, or she can literally go to jail for that. These guys, we don't know. Like, they could sell out, you know, if, if Bitcoin goes to 10,000, you know, next week or next month or whatever, and we'll have no clue, okay? So when you start making price predictions, that's when it starts to get into you're just trying to hype, 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 okay? You would have all these other kind of debates here and there, but when you're saying the price is going to this by this date, you're going into full hype mode at that point in time. You're going into full hype mode, okay? It's like, you know, someone in the stock market saying, oh, the stock market, you know, the Dow's at 24,000 right now. The Dow's going to 100,000, you know, four years from now or whatever. It's like, dude, you're just trying to hype at that point in time. You can make an argument why you think the market's gonna go up over time, but to just say, oh, it's going to this price by this date, that's ignorant, man, that's ignorant. That's that's That just sounds like you're trying to hype at that point in time, so. That's my feeling on it. Let me know what your guys' opinion is on this? Do you think he should be making outlandish calls like that? Do you think this helps Bitcoin or do you think this hurts Bitcoin? You know, do you think this is the type of thing we need hype, we need hype, we need hysteria, you know, we need that out there or do you think it's the type of thing that's actually hurting Bitcoin and actually bringing it down and not just Bitcoin but all cryptocurrencies in general? Also, do you think Bitcoin deserves to have as much attention? Like, I feel like Ethereum should have the majority of attention like by far over Bitcoin but Ethereum seems to get hardly any attention compared to Bitcoin. Like, 
Anyways, just let me know what your guys' opinion is down there in that comment section as always. Thank you for watching and have a great day.